All right, guys, what is going on? Welcome back to some more Final Fantasy 16, the Nemesis by Deva Gem. Yo, the way the last episode ended literally made me sad. I, I was not expecting it to end the way that it did. It was it was beautiful, man. I, I really suggest you guys go ahead and check that out. It was just a shock to me, man. I didn't think it was going to end like that. So now, now I'm really curious as to how some of these side quests are going to go. Because if they're going to be like that... That's crazy. Really crazy. But um guys, thank you so much for all the love support on this series. Uh we're trying to finish up these side quests. Trying to. There's a lot of them. There's like a whole bunch. I wonder if I could freeze them. Okay, cool. Two down. Okay. One. One to go. Yes. Uh, so uh, last episode I said that I'm not doing these side quests in order, and I'm really not. I'm just, uh, I'm really just doing them whenever I see is in the in the area. So this one is helping out. Yeah, that guy. He said there's someone here. He said there's someone out here that doesn't look friendly. This guy? Still in Dalamil, Victor. Ah, Sid. I thought you'd have returned to Kosnis by now. I did. Then I came back. I've developed something of a fondness for the place. And having worked so hard to see it saved from one fate, it would seem remiss to abandon it to another. A sentiment Master Lubor certainly isn't shy about exploiting. Hence my doing his bidding yet again. You're not the only one. What does he want you to do? He asked for my aid in putting down the bandits. And he said that you might be able to help me find them. Then you've come at just the right time. I was on my way to speak with Conrad about how to organize our forces. Okay. There are more camps in the vicinity than we can safely strike at once. We must strike together. I could we take them all out soon at as many camps as we can. We can't give this league of theirs time to rally its forces. All right. Which camp shall I take? There's one up river, just out there, across the dunes. Across the dunes with me. Okay. Across the dunes. Up river? All over there? Okay. And they fortified it even more. Yeah. Ned Wells. To Nerd Wells. Jesus. Uh yeah, just keep going straight. Okay. What the hell is that? Oh, it's just a regular salamander. Oh, maybe that's how I cross over over there. That must there. be the camp Victor mentioned. Come on, Antogel. Hey guys, how you doing? The one who killed Lock and Finger. I killed who? Yeah. 
Hold on, who the hell? Who the hell? This dude just healed them. I was like, who the hell gave them life back? What? Oh man, there's also uh, 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 Divinity. Is it Divinity 2 that's coming out? Or is it... Not Divinity. What's it called? Where are you? I think Divinity. I don't remember, but... Dude, this month, this year is ah, going to be crazy with games. Didn't you any trouble. No, but... That's not why you're here, is it? No. Something's happened. Let me see. We need you back in Dalimel. It's not divinity. What is it? The whole town's in uproar. They're saying that Lubor is a bearer. What? Seems that one of our parties wasn't as thorough as they should have been. They let one of the bandits escape, and his escape route took him right through Dalimel. Some of the children spotted him, and he was about to silence them. Hmm. And when Lubor felled him, with a bolt of magic and without a crystal. Oh, that's shit. not possible. What? It is if he's a bearer and has been hiding it all these years, which is what people are saying. What? If he has, well, I wouldn't blame him. No man is branded by choice. What? All those people see is a man who's lied to them all his life. One who has made a leader of himself when the world believed he should have been a slave. Oh, shit. Fuck. I don't know where we go from here, but I know one thing. Lubor needs all the friends he can get right now. You're right. Wow. Really? This seems like an important ass cutscene. And now everyone knows. <laughs> I made it a habit to keep a crystal close at hand for just such an occasion. And when that occasion arose, I forgot to reach for it. <laughs> well, it was bound to come out sooner or later. We're sorry, Lubor. We tried to keep running, but we just couldn't anymore. Hmm. There's nothing to be sorry for. I rather enjoyed playing the hero for once. All that matters to me is that you two are safe. Look at him talking to his betters like it's nothing. Wow. All lies are wager, just like the ones he fed us all these years. Once people make up their minds, it's hard to change them. We need to do something, and quickly. Convince the people not to let their prejudices blind them. Convince them that nothing has changed. That their enemy lies outside these walls, not within them. You're right. We should speak to everyone. I'm glad you agree. I'll handle the townsfolk. I'm a Dalmec born and bred. They listen to me. You head to the tavern. Make Conrad and Natalie remember who Lubor really is. They know that Lubor and I are friends. I might not make for the most impartial of interlocutors. Lord Underhill of Randalar's League of Merchants, however, is a trusted and impartial mediator of note. I'll do what I can. Lubor, stay here with the children. I can't promise anything, but we'll try. And that is all I can ask of you. Is it Dungeons and Dragons? Yo, I've been trying to look the name of that damn RPG game that's coming out. Is it Dungeons and Dragons? No, it's Dragon Age? No, what the hell is it called, guys? Hold on, let me see. I've actually, I actually downloaded the first one. It is here in my games library. What is it called? Because my God, my life. What the hell is it called? It was a PS4 game. Yes, not PS5. Dragon's Dogma 2. That's coming out, I think, in March. Bruh, there's so many games coming out. <laughs> so many games coming out. and mm, So little time. Because there's so many other things that I want to record and finish. Uh, this is this way. Why are you taking the bearer's side? 
Why do they always have to make such a fuss? He knew all along that he... Mm. Forgive me for disturbing you, but... Could I have a moment of your time? Hmm. I've seen your face before. As have I, Lord Underhill, wasn't it? Of the League of Merchants. <laughs> uh, that's right. I wanted to speak to you about Lubor. The rumors that he's a bearer. All true, I'm afraid. He'll never be mayor now. Not if I have anything to do with it. Oh my god. But what if his wares? Bearer or no, his steel is highly valued throughout the Republic. In this, at least, he's done the town a service. Might that not earn him a little leniency? Leniency? He pretended to be one of us when he was laughing behind our backs all the while. Wow. I'm sorry, my lord, but he lied to us. He lied to you. He cannot be trusted. So what do you propose? Will you drive him from his home? Close his forge? Perhaps. That is a question for the people of Dalimil. Hmm. And they will thank you not to get involved. Hmm. You know what? In this... Oh, yeah, but he loves the town, though. That's the only problem. The townsfolk have made their minds up. There was nothing I could do. Nor I. Conrad and Natalie refused to consider anything but their own wounded pride. You never know. Once their anger is cooled, they might see things differently. For now, we should report back to Lubor. All right. You know, I would say... I would say fuck the town and then see how they fare without me or my wares. I assume the situation is hopeless. There's still hope. But 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 perhaps not in this lifetime. I think it's fair to say you mustn't think like that, Lubo. Give them time. Lubo. We'll talk some sense into them in the end. They you are see. not going to come around. You crazy? No. You won't. And your efforts would be better spent elsewhere. But Lubo. Rosina would often tell me that steel does not lie, that a blade is a reflection of the smith who forged it. To yourself be true. That was her point. Rather an ironic one when you consider that her life was taken with a blade of her own making. Hmm. But I do not doubt that she was always true to herself and what she believed in right to the end. And so must I be. I must do what I know to be right no matter what others might think of me. And now I know what that is. I must embrace my new role of villain so that the people of Dalamil have something to unite against. For only united can they hope to stand against the threat that awaits them. I'll need to make a suitably dramatic exit, of course. Don't go, Lubor. You're the only one who was ever kind to us. Hmm. We'll be all alone. Again. Trust me, little ones. It is for the best that I go. Not only for the town, but for you, too. How could it possibly be for the best? These children need you. The least you can do is give the townspeople a chance to change their minds. They would not take it, Victor. It's over. Over, you say? And so just like that, you're going to throw this town and these children to the wolves? I thought you were better than this. But it seems you had me fooled as well. Oh, shit. Victor. Forget it. Do what you will. See, this is another long quest. Are you sure you're making the right choice, Lubor? Of those available to me, I believe it's the best one. Yes. Ah, but where are my manners? Here. A reward for clearing out that bandit camp. Hmm. Right then. I have packing to do. If there's anything I can do, anything, I'll bear it in mind. Thank you. That's crazy. 
Oh, okay. So I don't think we're done with him. If we are done, we'll get uh, something to put in our room. No, so we're not done with him yet. I think another side quest for him will pop up later. Yeah. Oh, yo, they're devastated. Why didn't he tell us? Hmm. All right, I'll let them sit and uh, muster or fester for a bit. Blacksmith Blues, I guess that's the only thing we could do over here. Because the other area for us to go is locked. So let's do that. So Dravosht is still standing. For now at least. Yeah, there's a monster nearby, right? Who the hell do I speak to? Oh, yeah. Clive! You're here! And the Akashic? Mostly off to the north still. But I spoke to Doris's scouts, and it turns out things are worse than I thought. There's swarms of them out there. Told old Snotty to be ready to seal the north gate. That should buy us some time if we need it. Enough for the villagers to barricade themselves inside their homes, at least. Hmm. Well done. Welcome back, Sid. I'd never have guessed, you know. Not if August hadn't let slip. Who'd have thought that the savior of Dravosht hmm. would turn out to be the realm's most infamous outlaw? Keen to help us out again? I am. Thought you could sneak off without me, did you? Oh, he did not want to see you, though, bro. Blackthorn. Zoltan. Oh, what are you doing here? One of the scouts couldn't keep his voice down. Unlike my best mate, you didn't think I deserved a no. Zoltan. How long's it been? Long enough for us two to turn into a pair of old coaches, I see. Then your idea of an apology. Prick. <laughs> Don't listen to him. You only did what you thought was best. For the village and that. I did, yeah. But that ain't the whole of it. Vulcan, our master, didn't leave the chieftain to the two of us. He left it to me, the best blacksmith in Travosht, barring himself, of course. <sighs> Bloody stupid tradition, in my opinion. If someone's got talent, you should let them practice their craft, not ask them to settle petty feuds and barter for grain. Our master wasted half his life that way. I wasn't about to let that happen to me. So you're wasting half of mine instead. You're what Travosht needed. Under me and my precious ideals, this place wouldn't have lasted a year. So I left to devote myself to the work and spare you lot the consequences. Hmm. I may be a selfish prick, but I only did what I felt I had to. What you had to do was your duty. Even if it meant we all starved? Enough. This is no time for bickering. You can finish beating each other up once Dravosht is safe. Fine. I've said my piece anyway. Yeah, so have I. Sorry, Clive. I shouldn't have stuck my nose in. We're short enough on time as it is. Still, hmm. give us a mo, would you? I need to get my head straight before any of them Akashic try to bite it off. Hopefully he doesn't die, because I, I feel like if... <sighs> okay, what the hell? I'm, I'm ready now. What the hell? You, uh, <laughs> ready for the off, then? What the hell? What the hell? We can't afford to waste any more time. Right, you are. Might be worth having one last word with the scouts, though. Don't want any nasty surprises, do we? Oh, and Blackford, you and Zoltan might be better off staying inside the. Akashic on the move. How close are they? Within sight of the walls, and there are more coming up from the mines. <sighs> what was I saying about nasty surprises? They'll wash right over us if we stay out in the open. We're pulling back behind the gates. Good idea. Get yourselves inside, but keep your weapons handy. Understood. I'm prepared to fight if I have to. Well, let's hope you don't. That's our job. Once the scouts are inside, order your men to barricade the gates. No heroic last stands, you hear me? No fighting at all if you can help it. August's right. I've seen what Akashic beasts can do to armor. The people here are tough and willing. But they ain't equipped to face what's coming. I'm going out there. 
Start work on the gates as soon as I've left. I'll give you as much time as I can. And if they kill you? You evacuate. Tough. But it won't come to that. I promise. If they kill you. You'd better be right. Take good care of Dravosh till I get back. Leave it to me. If they kill you. Give those things what for, yeah? If they kill me. What do they think that I'm going to die for? I, 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 do they not know how many icons that I have on me? Bruh. If they kill you. Oh, okay. Big boy. Right off the bat. Okay, let's go. Clives, you clearly see which one is first, right? Ow. Yeah, get that shit out of here. Nice, I was saving this for like until we had a whole bunch of enemies. Okay. Griffin, huh? Jesus, Griffin, chill out. I was trying to do this. Have I fought? Oh, I have fought a griffin before. I was about to say, have I fought a griffin before? And yes, I have. To me, boy. I've heard Torgle. To me, boy. Over here. All yours, Torgle. Torgle, kill. Nice. Nice. You know what? Her power is good for breaking armor. It's really good for breaking armor. Yo, what's up with Clive's face? Is that it? Oh shit. Apparently not. Is that a chimera? I think that is a chimera. Holy shit. God damn it, I meant to do this. Okay, I can't press Torgo button and do that at the same time. Holy mother of Christ. Shit, bro. Why do I suck at dodging right now? <laughs> Bruh, what the hell? There you go. That's what I'm talking about. For the love of God. Yeah, bro, that tears away at the armor. Alright, seems like I'm gonna have to do it two times. That's fine. Whoa. 
God, for the love of Jesus Christ, bro. He's dead. He's dead. All finished. Nice. Oh man, that's such tiny XP, bro. <laughs> but I have a lot of points. I think this was our first time fighting a, oh, the a Chimera. Is, did I miss any? Man alive! You're still in one piece! I slew as many as I could. <laughs> as many as I could, he says. The old bleeding lot more like it. Well, almost. Only almost. Yeah, one or two did try to sneak over the wall. But we got the bastards, don't you worry. Good. Though you do know, more will come in time. In time, yeah. But we can think about them later. Let's get you back inside. Hmm. I really gotta walk there. I really gotta walk there. You can't just put my ass right here. Jesus. <laughs> Sid! <laughs> You're even more fearsome than your reputation. Why he sound like that? Enough to give those Akashic monsters nightmares. Why you sound I like that? I almost felt sorry for the wretched things. But mostly, I felt grateful. Dravost won't forget what you did today. I'm afraid I've only delayed the inevitable. There's no getting rid of that ether flood. Meaning that any living thing which stumbles into those mines will end up clawing at your walls again. And that's if the flood don't spread. If it does, well, I hate to say it, but the village's days are numbered. That may be, but we're staying just the same. Hmm. With ether floods springing up all over, it's no less safe than anywhere, and more importantly, it's our home. We'll fortify the gates to the north, and I'll see that they're guarded day and night. All right. Then we'll give you a hand shoring up those defenses. As for you, Blackthorn, <laughs> twice you turned up when Dravosh needed you. So, thanks. I shouldn't have stayed away so long. And I shouldn't have left without talking it over with you first. <laughs> Too bloody right you shouldn't. Though I doubt I'd have listened. I always envied you. How you made everything look so easy when, for me, it was anything but. You leaving gave me the perfect excuse to hate you. And from that day on, I never once stopped to wonder what it would have been like if you'd stayed. But what you said earlier... It was true. You'd have been the death of this place. Finally. Something we can agree on. I hope you see the sense of it eventually. You kept this place alive. Alive, perhaps. Wealthy even, but... Dravosh isn't what it once was. Our work used to be the pride of Dalmechia. Now, we churn out the same rubbish day after day. Because it's easy. And turns a profit. It's not about the craft anymore. <laughs> I wouldn't send my sons to war wearing the shit most of our smiths are making. I've kept working, honing my skills, trying to lead by example, but no one sees the point. The average castle apprentice has as much passion for the craft as our current lot. Come back to us, Blackthorn. Remind Dravosht what a true master blacksmith looks like. I'll even man those bellows of yours if it means we can work at the same forge again. That's a kind offer. Kinder than I deserve. 
something I wish I could accept, but I'm needed elsewhere. There's people who trust their lives to my steel, and I dare let them down. <sighs> Fair enough. But that doesn't mean I couldn't visit from time to time. Let's see if we can't rekindle this town's passion for the craft, shall we? I'd like that. Just be sure to tell Snotty to let me in the next time I come calling, yeah? <laughs> Knowing him, he'd let you in anyway. Blackthorn. The master smith turned outlaw, back in my good graces. I never thought I'd see the day. I love it. I'd say that went pretty well, wouldn't you? Even better than I'd hoped. Sid, I've got something for you. Yep, this is the last uh, mission for the blacksmith. Yep. Cool. And this is? A token of our lasting gratitude. But I'm of a mind to make you a far grander gift. I like women only, bro. Designs Sorry. <laughs> for a certain sword have been passed down from chief to chief for generations. Now, hold on, Sultan. Uh, there's a reason no one's made that blade in centuries. There's not been a craftsman equal to the task. I'll admit your cinders make impressive steel, and I've learned to own an edge Odin would be proud of. But the engravings on that thing are enough to make a jeweler cry. And they're not just for show, either. Have you forgotten what brought you back to Dravorst in the first place? Hmm? A certain ring? I knew I'd never surpass you with a hammer and tongs. So I turned my hand to a different kind of metalwork. Oh, wow. Between the two of us. I'd say we're the equal of any master craftsman ever to have graced a forge. <laughs> you know what? I think you might be right. <laughs> he didn't even laugh. Clive, you wouldn't mind if Zoltan came back to the Idaway, would you? <laughs> He's more than welcome. As long as he can keep our secret. Right. Zoltan, get your tools. We've got a legend to forge. Now, is this going to be for three? We turn to the hideaway and speak to Black. Okay. For some reason... Oh, I gotta go the back way to Titan's Wake. Okay, let's let's uh let's do this hideaway thing real quick. Let's go back here and then let's just finish this. Usually I don't do this. I usually finish all the other stuff first and then I come back here and speak to everyone. But I wanna see what this legendary sword is. Oh, don't tell me we've run out of Pepe or not at all. I'm curious. The man himself. We were just about to make a start on that sword, I promised you. It's funny, but none of this would have been possible without your help. You remember Camille? We'll be using his level work for the grip. The steel, meanwhile, will be tempered in a fire burning the cinders you charmed out of old Zoltan here. And that wet stone from the outer isles? That'll be what gives the blade its edge. Hmm. And the final flourish will be my talented colleagues engraving. A team effort led by the greatest blacksmith alive. <laughs> now, now, save that talk to the things finished, yeah? Right. I'm ready if you are. To the bellows it is then. As do yo. It, it, would, it would be cool to watch them do this, but we just get to hear it. <laughs> it's a free sword too. Fuck yes. What does it look like? Show me, show me. Well, bugger me. <laughs> we actually did it. Damn. Damn. The sword to end all swords. Ragnarok. Ragnarok. <sighs> it's quite something. What about the sons of I, uh, Ouroboros? Trust you'll take good care of it. Of course. Thank you. Both of you. So, does this make you pair the greatest craftsman alive then? <laughs> this. <laughs> nah. This was just following the footsteps of the greats of old. 
It'll take more than that to earn us our place in history. But we're up for the challenge. Here. More gifts? A list of materials. Zoltan and I got talking on the long road back from Dravost. We reckon with those items there, we could craft something even better than the Ragnarok. Sons of Orboros. Something worthy of a legendary outlaw like yourself. That's a weapon I'd like to see. You leave this list with me. I was hoping you'd say that. One legend at a time, eh, lads? Before you start on the next, who fancies raising a cup to friendship reforged? Good idea. No more drinking to forget my past. It's about time I had something to celebrate. <laughs> then tap the kegs! Vulcan's boys are on their way! That's cool. That's 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 a you know what that's a good ending for this quest too. I actually like this. And we leveled up to finally 40. Oh, we were already at 40, 41. Nice. Alright. Oh, that's that sword for the trophy. This one. We have to craft this. The, there's a trophy for crafting that sword, yeah. Gutter Damarug. Gutter, <laughs> Gutter Damarug. Something. Okay. So wait. Do I have Ragnarok on me? Like right now? I haven't picked up this one yet. That's fine. Yes, it is. Damn. 30-30. <whistles> wow. So there's Ouroboros and then there's the Sons of Ouroboros. I think those are only equipments. I keep forgetting if they're swords or equipment. Blacksmith's Blues. Cool. Um, I could make this Ice Shard, Brightburn, but this sword, uh, Ice Sword? Yeah, okay, so Ouroboros is a belt. Sons of Ouroboros is uh. It's like a little belt thing too. Okay, so they're both like a hand bracelet. Okay, van brace. Okay, 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 okay. I need to kill Orochi Clum, whatever that is, twice. I need the Orochi Clum. Is this gonna use the Melba Fly? No, I shard and let me craft this. I do say so myself. Just don't equip it. So that legendary sword. That it. Fine. Okay. I'll mess with all this later. Okay, next side quest, just so I can get this done. Uh, let's do this one all the way down here. Okay, so this is the one. Okay, so this is the other thing that's over here. I think with the recent DLC, they added New Game Plus, right? I feel like I'm gonna have to do New Game Plus for certain trophies, um, but I'll 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 do that on my own time. All right, Hellguru. back. I just wanted to get that. Okay, this is a whole new area. Is it gonna be like a boss over here? I'm curious. Let's take the front way first. And then I could do a loop around, but meh. Excuse me. Ooh, almost got hit. The hell's back here? Oh yeah, there's something back here. Hold on. Ow, ow. Oh. 
Come on, Turbo. Help me out. Nice. I'll take this. I haven't seen one of these. A oh, ring, huh? I haven't seen one of these in a long time, though. Yeah, it's, 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 it's been a while since we got one of those. Hey guys, bye guys. This leads back out. These are goblins. Okay. Oh God. Is there a box over here? Ouch. I just came to see if there was a box over here, bro. Like, leave me alone. Fuck it. Yeah, I just came to I just came to see what was over here, bro, and they started to attack me. Come on. <laughs> I think there's a gate to open in this area, so I think I'm going to open it once I reach out of here. Yeah. Oh, there's a fast travel thing already here. Yoink. Thank you. Oh. Okay. So there's just a town here? Oh, it's a ruined town with a lot of dead people. Holy shit. How long have they been dead? Oh, these are the. Oh no. You'll pay for this. Mm. There may still be survivors. Are you sure? They look like they've been kind of dead for a while now. Oh, hold on, let me search though for a chest. Yep. Thank you. Dun, 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 Hold on. I gotta go in there, so hold on. Oh shit. Whatever that thing is. Don't say it's their leader. Fool's gold.
I could multiple. I could dash multiple times. I didn't know that. I didn't know that I, I could dash multiple times. That's interesting. Like dash through attacks like that. That's pretty cool. Should have stayed in the past. Oh, this is where the survivors were. This must be Cyril's colleagues. You have our thanks, stranger. Oh, there's some that are still alive. Who are you? Ah. Forgive me, my lord. I did not recognize you. You are Lord Rosfield, are you not? We are archaeologians tasked with surveying this site. When the echoes appeared, our brothers here occupied their attentions. Thanks to them and to you, we were, for a mercy, able to see our duty to its conclusion. You call that a mercy? Hmm. Your brothers might still be alive if you put their safety before your duty. Surely this survey wasn't worth dying for. We are charged with uncovering Ultima's origins. A duty of the highest import, as I'm sure you will agree. And you think your dead brothers would agree with you too? They would. I know they would. Yep. They gave their lives for the cause, an honor to which all undying aspire. Now... To what do we owe the honor of your presence, Lord Marquis? Cyril told me of your work here, and I agree to collect your findings in his stead. I see. That is most kind. Pray, take them then, with our humble thanks. Hmm. May the Firebird's flame burn ever in your heart, as it does in ours. He just walks away like, man, fuck these guys, and they walk away too. One thing to lay down your life for another, but for a survey. <laughs> for the cause, bro. For the cause. I suppose I'd better get this back to Cyril. Think no more of us, my lord. Only Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What you were saying, yeah, yeah, yeah. Important, important task and all that. Cool. Let us continue then. I'm guessing they were here. Oh, there's more of them. So more was there's one over there too. Oh no, that that's a scarecrow. Never mind. Uh was he here? Yes. Alright, yeah, let's finish up this side quest and then we'll end off the episode. I guess it's gonna be three episodes of side of side quests. Damn. It's just some of them are longer than the rest. Which is okay. Ah, oh, you are returned, my lord. I collected your colleagues' preliminary findings. Here, take them. Yeah, Clive is not pleased. My thanks. I shall study them and inform you forthwith if I discover aught that might aid you in your fight against Ultima. Cyril. Your survey party suffered several losses in Kratov. Losses which could have been avoided had the others not chosen to complete their work instead of saving their friends. Were these your orders? No. This was their choice. Every undying devotes his life to the service of the Phoenix. It is our sole duty. And should we die in discharging it, so be it. Hmm. Even when death is avoidable, my lord, I fear that this is not a point over which it would be fruitful to argue. The Undying have served the Phoenix for countless generations. And your opinion of our methods, however earnest, is not like to change them. Right. We live to serve the Phoenix. Our very order exists for that purpose. 
and that purpose alone. Cyril, I know that you and your brethren answer only to Joshua, but allow me to offer you a word of advice. It does not further the cause of the Phoenix to have his loyal followers surrender their lives without good reason. Provide your survey parties with an escort, that they might live to do their duty for years to come. Think not only of how you can serve the Phoenix, but how Joshua would want you to serve him. I can see the point of that too. Please. For all our sakes. I thank you for your advice, my lord. If you will permit me to respond. To our faith in his grace, Joshua Rossfield, is absolute. And we of the undying will do what we believe is right to fulfill our duty unto him as first shield to the phoenix i am sure you understand what it means to do one's duty yeah i do then we are of the same mind and it is my hope that we may continue to do our duty together I mean, I, I agree with both sides, but I also agree with Clive, too. Like, bro, just have a fucking convoy. Just hire self source guys and don't tell them what the mission's about. You know, like that, you'll survive and live another day. But hmm. it is what it is. Right. Nice. So, guys, we are finishing up the side quest beautifully. OK, next episode should definitely be the last one. Uh, let's just come here, I guess, and then we'll do this. Well, next episode should be the last episode for the side quests, and then we'll finally, finally get to move on. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. I love and appreciate every single one of you guys. I'll see y'all in the next one, okay? Peace.